Hey guys, it's Hallie and today we are going to be filming a back to school supplies haul. Um, if you don't know me, I will be doing my first year at college in Windsor and I'm doing pre-health, which is a one year program, so, but I have to apply to something else after. Um, I was thinking of sonography, but there's only 30 spots in that program at my school. So I have to come up with a backup plan, obviously. So today we'll be doing a back to school supplies haul. I know you don't usually get a lot of supplies for college, but I love school supplies and I use them so often. So I just thought I'll use them and then if I, I'll buy them and if I don't use them, what am I gonna do about it? Nothing. So I think first we should start off with our textbooks. I bought these used um for three hundred dollars but it's all of them except for two um i guess i was boo boo the fool but i don't know so this is my first textbook it's the mcgraw hill handbook and it's a mini english um essay basically handbook all about writing essays um, my English class is on Monday and it's each class I have twice a week but the English one is back to back so I only have it on Monday um, next I have essentials of human anatomy and physiology um, don't know what class this is for can't remember these might all be for like seconds half of these might be for second semester I don't know yet because I don't have my second semester schedule yet um, this is Essentials of Understanding Psychology. Again, I think this is for second semester. Um, sociology, a brief introduction. A writer's workshop for my English. I don't know if this is first semester or second semester English. Chem. We love chem. No, we don't. Um, soft skills for the workplace. It's a nice little book, so it'll be easy to carry around. <sighs> Human biology, anatomy, and physiology. Um, before I forget, I'm just gonna say, I don't know if you really care, but I think I'm gonna rent a locker because even though I'm living on res, I have um, three classes back to back and they have like the thickest textbooks and they don't really fit in my bag that well. And Res is like a 15 minute walk from the building and they're like back to back. So I'm like, I guess I should get a locker. Haven't actually rented one yet though. So this is essay writing skills with readings. Um, and for two of these books, I actually have uh, codes. I can't remember what they're called, but you go online and there's like activities with them. That the prof gives you um so next i don't know if you'll need these for college but i know you sometimes get loose handouts and i don't want to put those like in the folders of my notebooks so i just got these two um flex binders that i will keep in my dorm and then like any loose pages i get from a class i'll put them in here and they come with like dividers so it's easy to separate um i don't know why i got two i was gonna get one but then my mom said i should get two just in case Maybe I'll keep like my first semester's notes in one and then I'll use them to like help me second semester because I'm doing the same classes both semesters. It's just like different levels, like level one and level two. So next I have four notebooks. Um, there are three subjects, five star. I have four of them because I have six classes each semester. So this should cover them even though it's only like a hundred pages in each section. These are the folders I was talking about but it wouldn't really be that nice to like, keep all your handouts in that. So I've got a plain white one, just like for the flex ones, I got black and white. And then I have this pretty um, pink, orange, and purple watercolor one. These are all free subject. Um, I know Americans like complain about college ruled and wide ruled but these don't say anything about them it just says ruled notebook um then i have my windows open my neighbors can probably hear me 
a blue and purple version of the watercolor. And a plain black one. Oof. Um, so next I have a little planner. I was going to get an Erin Condren one, but they're really expensive as you know, and I was like, I've never fully used a planner for an entire year of my life, so I'll just get this little cheap one I got from Bed Bath & Beyond, I think. And it's good, it's got tabs, which I love. And then it has um, a monthly spread. And then a weekly spread, love that. I think on the monthly spread, I'm going to do like um, assignments and maybe at the top, yeah, I'll do assignments and then I'll also write them in the weekly and then in the weekly I'll write like my plans and stuff too. I don't know yet. I haven't really figured it out. And I also know that people don't get pencil cases in college that often because they're like, you literally just need a pencil and pen. Why do you need a pencil case? But I just got one anyways because like I said, I love school supplies and in mine I have a mini stapler because I heard that's good to have. Um, a post, like a mini post-it note. And then I have these paper made um, flare pens, that one, and then I have a pink one. These um, Bic gel pens. Then these are from high school. I just threw them in here. And then I have all my old high school mechanical pencils. Um, and then I also bought a new pack of mechanical pencils because I guess I underestimated how many mechanical pencils I actually had left from high school. So these are the ones I bought. They're like the cheapest good mechanical pencils. And I got a pack of Sharpies. Um, I think I also have one of my old high school Sharpies in that pencil case. I just wanted to have it. Um, this is where my other note came from. I got two because they were like 90 cents. And it comes with all those post-its. And this, everyone might think I'm a little two-year-old, but I love markers and like color coding my notes and like coloring in diagrams. So I got this pack of like 20 markers and it was really cheap. So I just thought why not because I know I'll use them in my notes. I love them. And like I think I'm going to like type up my notes if I'm allowed because I know some profs don't let you during class because I won't have time to neatly write out my notes. And then as a form of like going over the lecture, I guess, I want to rewrite the notes nicely in my notebooks. And that's when I can use like color coding and color in my diagrams and stuff. Um, next, I have just stuff like, oh wait, no I don't. I have a pack of two erasers. Um, these are like the high polymer ones. The Americans looks different, but this is what the Canadian ones look like. Because um, we don't have that really good one everyone goes on about. Um, then yeah, this is just for like my dorm school supplies. And I'm going to be filming a dorm haul probably right after this. Um, so I have like three packs of index cards um, this little thing of binder clips paper clips thumb tacks and more paper clips um, I'll just keep that in my dorm you know and then these were just like loose so I just put them in this that I'll have on my desk um, a pair of scissors to like keep in my dorm maybe in my kitchen and then a dry erase marker for my whiteboard which will be in my dorm hall so I think that's all for my school supplies I know this seems really extra especially for thunder oh wait that might be a motorcycle especially for college but I just that's my first year I'm nervous I want to be prepared and I just love school supplies so yeah, thanks hey guys, Natalia, I'm back. Um, I was on some, oh my god, excuse my nails. I was on some dumb juice and I forgot to include my backpack in my haul. So I just thought I would do that now I can see my neighbor. So for my backpack, I got, oof, um, a North Face Jester in Heather Gray and Turquoise. Um, so first in the side, I bought, I went to the mall with my friends last night, like I mentioned in my mukbang. I got this shirt, 
and the new Hydra Flask. I already have the 32 ounce um, ocean blue one, but I thought I would buy this 20 ounce um, flamingo pink one because it's smaller. It actually fits in this pocket, which my 32 ounce doesn't. And I thought it would be nice to have two if I'm not going anywhere for a long time. I can just fill up a smaller one or if I wanted to use like hot chocolate because I don't drink coffee or tea. Oh my god. I was about to sneeze and now I didn't, so I'm gonna I'm not editing that out. Um and also it came with a flip lid, but I already had a straw lid, two straw lids, so I just put my other straw lid on this. And it was $33 Canadian. And yeah, this kind of hydroplastic is supposed to be used for coffee, but I'm using it for my water. So I don't think there's anything in this backpack right now, but I'll just show you the pockets. Um, yeah, this pocket is empty. It's not that big. It only goes down to here, which is like crappy, I guess, because I feel like there's more potential for a deeper pocket. So there's separ um, a Velcro, Velcroing that main pocket. There's a zipper into there, a mesh pocket, pencil pocket, and a big like phone pocket, I guess. Um, this backpack was 70 Canadian, maybe, 73, with tax and shipping, but it was free shipping, so never mind. Um, and then this only has two zipper pockets, which is a little crappy but we'll make do. And it has a main huge pocket in there and then a laptop sleeve, it's like all of them. It says, where will it take you? Um, so yeah, I can fit a lot of my stuff in here. Actually, it looks pretty small and it low key is, but it does hold a lot. So yeah, actually, thanks for watching now. Um, yeah.